The third exercise I want to discuss with this fixing our asymmetrical pull-ups, uh, again, we are addressing the rib cage. So we've got to find ways to address the rib cage and I want to make it as easy as possible. So we start with these sagittal plane motion things. These first two exercises are a lot of that. And this next one now is after I've done some of that and I've loosened up that, I think the order matters, right? So don't just skip to number three. You have to do one and then two and then three. Number three though is I'm laying on my right side and I just scrunch up my left side. Okay, so uh, if you're familiar with some of the other exercises I talk about, this one you might call a left adductor pullback or it looks something like that. Basically, you're gonna lay on your side, your torso is laying on its side, and then your legs are bent up to 90 degrees. Uh, it's kind of like a fetal position, but you're laying on your right side there. Um, the idea, the focus is we want to first round the back, because you gotta do that. Uh, we've talked about that. Right. That's why we did those other exercises. So step one, round your back. Step two, scrunch your left side up. You're trying to make your right side as long as you can. It might get stuck on the ground, so feel free to fidget. You're trying to make your right side as long as you can, and you're trying to make your left side as short as you can. And that will get you the scrunching that you're looking for. This one is a, a very strong influence on that step two, that frontal plane stuff. I don't know why I can just grab this pen. I, I love uh, using this like my wand. Um, this will allow you to get that step two, that frontal plane stuff. So now we're addressing not just the sagittal plane because we're still talking about that. We have to get that first in order to move on to step two. But now we can start to pay more attention to the frontal plane. Uh, so laying on my right side, my knees are bent up like the fetal position. Right side gets really long, left side gets really scrunched. You should feel killer left ab, left oblique. If you don't feel that, breathe out and scrunch a little bit harder. And that's kind of the idea here. So why we're doing this. So you're you're really just laying down. It's it's the easiest setup in the world. You got to round your back and then you got to scrunch one side. It's the easiest setup in the world. It is not the easiest exercise to do in the world though. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm feeling like deadlifts are easier than doing this. Um, the idea is we're we're scrunching up that side that really likes to be inhaled. It likes to have a lot of air in it. And so we're trying to take the air out of it. What that's doing is literally suffocating you. Your body has to figure out how to bring the air somewhere else, how to move your guts around somewhere else so that you can continue to breathe and act like a human while you're in this weird scrunched up position. And if you're doing these pull-ups and you're really asymmetrical, you're probably going to have a really hard time with this. Not everyone does, but people who present really asymmetrically generally have a really hard time with this. So you're laying on your right side. Your right side is really long. Your left side is scrunched up. The third thing that I really want to talk about. So we talked about, you know, you got to stay around and you got to scrunch up that side. Uh, third thing that I want to talk about is it's nice if you, you know, your knees are maybe uh, in the same level, in the same plane. I like to shift the left knee behind the right knee because what that does is it helps pull that side back. So now we're we're not just step two frontal plane. Now we're starting to get more step three transverse plane. And then we can put all these different steps together, right? So it's not as clear as do one then the other. It's do one then do all of them. Okay, figure out how you can control all three planes of motion. That's the secret to really eliminating the asymmetry in not just your pull up, but all your movements. So first exercise was a rocking. Second exercise was a left knee elevated rock back. And now the third exercise 
is a right side lying, left ab scrunch, and maybe left knee pullback.